Hello, welcome back to another instalment of the Alfresco Garage. In this episode, we're going to be working on the Big Blue Beast. I've recently discovered a fuel leak. So, I was working on the Insignia the other day. I had to jump start it, then I could see the fuel leaking. So let's have a look at what we've got to do. So, if we have a look in here, from the, I think that's the high pressure fuel pump. There's the low pressure one that's on the chassis rail, and that's the high pressure. I may have them the wrong way around, I'm not an expert. If I have, put it in the comments, uh, let me know as well as the others. But I'm sure that that's the low pressure on the chassis, that's the high pressure in the engine. <clears throat> well, as you can see, this has been rubbing on the air filterising, it's rubbed through, so now we have a little fuel leak coming from the pipe. So I cannot find anywhere online to buy the actual pipe with the two banjo fittings on. I don't want to start taking them off because then we'll need the copper washers and everything to put them back on. So my idea is I'm going to cut the pipe at the fitting, both ends, buy a length of fuel pipe, jubilee clip it on, hopefully that's job done, it'll save me a fortune in fuel, hopefully and we'll be back on the road. So we're going to start off, we're going to cut it at both ends, nip to the motor spurs, get a length of pipe, then we'll come back and we'll fit it. So, when I do this, no going back. So let's get this cut off. It's hard to get an angle. Tell you what, I'll cut it off and we'll come back. It's hard to get in with the angles. Right, as you can see, there's a little red tang in there. A bit messy. If you lift that up, push on the back, and that comes off. So we've got that end disconnected. So now let's see if we can get this push fitting off as well. Beats cutting it. Uh, so not on all with this. See how it works. We'll come back. Well, we've got them off. Not entirely how I planned it. Had to break the end of the white connector, as you can see. It's all crusty. It just wasn't moving, wasn't pushing in, wasn't sliding back. So, thinking now, till I can get one of these connectors ordered up, a length of fuel line across with two Jubilees on. Should do the trick. So we'll go and pick them up, get that fitted, get one of them ordered, and then make the actual pipe using the two ends. But as a temporary repair to keep me on the road, I think that's how I'll be going forward. So, just been going through my mini spurs, what I've got in the shed, and I find these pipes. Now I'm sure I could make do some of that with a five pin or even that looks almost identical pipe. So hopefully we can make something out of these that'll fit. So first of all I'm gonna cut away at this try and get this pipe off this union see what ball we've got in there. So I can't hold the camera and cut. I'll just go score across there gently till it breaks through and then we'll come back and look at that. That's it. Rip it off. So we've got that connector. Let's go and see what else we can find. 
to make this work. So we're going to go down and use this. It says fuel pipe on it. Fuel, diesel, petrol. It's all fuel. So I've cut it to the same size. Uh, I don't think the bore is much different. Actually, internally, I just think the pipe's thicker itself. Uh, so there shouldn't be a problem with overfueling. Uh, like I said, this is tempered so we get the white connector for the other end. But I've punted the same length. So I'm thinking, get these on. These tightened up. Maybe two Jubilees on it. And hopefully that should be job done. So get this end that's just a push click that's locked in so that one's on send him around the back again like it did and then and there you go that's it fitted uh, took a bit of heat on this end so a really tight fit great band of the 80s for some of you that might know uh, I know that's not as pushed up as far because there's no more play in that clip. So I'll get a banjo uh, jubilee for over that end of the banjo. That one's well on. This one, it is over the flute part that comes out of the banjo. So it's doing its job and the tight fit on it. Can't see it blowing off. But I guess well, the time will tell. But as a quick temporary repair to keep me on the road. Let's give it a start and we'll see how it goes. Obviously it's gonna take a while to get the fuel through. Fuel coming back through, that's a good sign. And we have no leaks. There we go, so we've got fuel back again. We've not got any leaks. Like I said, I'll get a Jubilee on when I go to the shops in a bit. But I'm happy with that. Uh, so thanks again for watching. If you are got anything to say where I have done it wrong, let me know. Because as I say, I'm not a competent mechanic. Uh, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny. Uh, comments whatever but thanks again for watching this installment from the Frasco garage